Hello, my name is Malte. We're here at Superbooth uh, 2024 and we are presenting the uh, reissue of the um, Cork PS3300, uh, which was originally um, introduced in 1977. And yeah, we, we did a reissue. Um, it's pretty much the, the same as the, the ori original, but we uh, added some some stuff for the modern musician, like like we added MIDI, we added USB. Uh, you can now store presets with it. Um, yeah, but the in essence, it's still the same. It's a uh, fully polyphonic synthesizer, all analog. Um, fully poly polyphonic means that uh, we have uh, uh, one voice for each of these keys, so that's 49 voices in total and um, in co it consists of four modules as you can see here uh, and three of them are all the same so each one is uh, like its own uh, synthesizer with uh, with an oscillator and a filter and uh, envelope it also has a resonator so uh, that's pretty much like a three band uh, bandpass filter that can also be modulated and uh, we have um, two LFOs and you, you also are able to uh, tune each note. So we have these, these 12 potiometers uh, um, uh, that can tune uh, each note. So you can do like uh, alternative uh, scales with it. Um, yeah, and all that is three times. So um, that's, yeah, like 49 times three times, um, that's a lot of voices actually. Yeah. Um, so in the fourth module is where it all comes together. We have a little mixer here um, where you can mix the, the voices together. We also have a sample and hold where you can do stuff like um, random modulations. And we also have an extra envelope generator here uh, that's like global, you can um, you can patch it to wherever you want because it's also semi-modular, uh, which which is pretty uh, unique for a um, for a polyphonic synthesizer as well. And we have a voltage processor, which just you can you can limit um, control voltages uh, with it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, we also added aftertouch to the to the um, to the keyboard and uh, I think that's that's it for a, for a basic overview so uh, maybe we can just uh, have a listen <laughs> so right now um, we are only hearing the first uh, module so that's like a basic patch with uh, with the saw wave, we, we also have different waveforms, uh, of course, like triangle and the square wave that can also be modulated with the LFO. And, and uh, I can also show you the resonator, how it sounds. You have these three bands that you can tune and create like vowel type um, uh, resonances with it. It can also be modulated, of course. So and this is all just uh, one of these three uh, modules, actually. So you can add the other one. Yeah, maybe that's uh, enough for a short overview. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's great, especially for big pads and 
um, that's really where the strength is. Actually, I can't really tell you a lot about uh, the prize, but um, as it was already announced at Superbooth, uh, at, uh, at, at the NAMM show, um, it's planned to, to be something between 13 and 15 thousand US dollars, but that can, that can change because um, we don't know yet how many of these uh, there will be on the market because it will be limited. Um, so, yeah, it's really a rough estimation of the price. Um, it should be in production by the end of the year and um, we are starting to take pre-orders in a few months, but uh, I can't tell you anything for sure yet.